Hello everyone, it's Roidman, and welcome back to Sly Cooper and Athebius Raccoonus. Last time, we escorted Murray to transport a key to us, and now we got into the main part of the casino, where we have to open Mugshot's head by getting some more keys. So how about we just find the first level, which we do have that level right there. There is a guard guarding it, but as long as you know how to do the ninja fire jump. Actually, is that the one I want to do? Yeah, that's the one I want to do. Time to go to straight to the top. There really isn't no set order of when to do these levels, but oh yes, this level! I love this level. First things first, let's put down the dog. Grab the key and jump off of that quickly. And more or less take the time to just search everywhere. Obviously the key is right there, so we know where we need to go. See those neon tubes? I know they look like you can't climb on them, but with your thieving skills, I bet you could pull it off. Yeah, first things first, I want to see if I can find more of these clue bottles. Which will probably be helpful if we can find all of them. Okay. And we can get these now. We want to do a lot of searching around here, but we know where the key is. More or less, the goal is just to climb up. If we can. But Bentley is correct. These neon lights should allow us to climb upwards. So all we have to do is collect these clue bottles and find it. Figure out where the safe is. And luckily for us, it's going to be as easy as just climbing some neon lights. I am going to try to collect some more coins. I do have a golden horseshoe, so I want to try to get gather some more lives if I can. I think I can grab onto that. Yes, I can. Oh, wow, a checkpoint. Okay, so there's an S. I do want that, and we do have the checkpoint. What I'm going to do is I'm going to get off of here. And grab some more of the clue balls that are on top of here. That takes care of that. And let's grab that. Oh, hi. Where did you come from? Well, you're now dead. So yeah, this is a little level where you can just explore a lot about... Ooh, what does this do? Okay! <laughs> That's a lot of free clue bottles, I'll take that! The thing is, we haven't found a safe yet, and that's one thing that will be important to find later. And since this is the third save, we will be getting that ability to find others, so this was probably not the wisest level to do this on, but oh well. Well, let's just get back onto the neon lights and get onto the H now. Grab onto H, wait for H to get back into place. And let's just jump into place of that T. And we're now here, which I think I can do with some tricky maneuvering. I can get to these clue bottles here. And now we can just climb up this little Eiffel Tower thing. Oh, 
I want to make sure I'm not missing anything when I do this. Okay. Before I do that, I want to make sure. Okay. There is a checkpoint right there, so let's try not to die. That takes care of you. And that takes care of you. Grab that clue bottle and... Not clue bottles, but we now that know that these dogs like to drink. Takes care of that dog, and let's carefully grab this clue bottle here. And grab this safe right here. Bringing us up to that much now. So we just have to keep on climbing. I'm just gonna make sure something. Okay. So yeah, we still have to start to keep climbing now. I see it, and I need it. How do I get up there? I think I have to do some nice, tricky maneuvering here. Okay. There we go. And I'm going to just be quiet for the next moment here. Well, Mugshot is not happy with us. Also, this would be a good time to use the binoculars to see where if we missed anything. And let's see here. That gets us over there. Which, if we need a back travel, we can. can. There's a clue bottle right there, but there's this card guy I want to take care of first. There we go. Take take care of the card guy. One. Two. I see where the safe is. But where are the rest of the clue bottles? That's the better question. Okay, so I know what happens when we have to drop when we drop that thing. But the bigger question is this. Where are the rest of the clue bottles? Oh, nope. <laughs> nice try. We'll take some time looking for those clue bottles because that thing looks like it broke some stuff. I don't think I could climb back up there. But it also broke some stuff over there as well. So I want to make sure I'm not missing anything. Uh. Game, you can't be serious, right? Game? Please tell me you're not serious. Oh, you are 100% serious on this. Please tell me I can climb this. Okay, good, I can climb it. We just have to walk backwards on this, because I do see that one clue bottle that I missed right there. Three clue bottles I missed right there. So, I'll meet you back over at that point. Okay, so I got to do these three clue bottles easily, but we're still... Yeah, we got all that we need, so I'll meet you back at that safe. Believe it or not, I did see those three clue bottles first off there. Can't believe I missed them. You need an IQ of at least 140 to figure this one out. Dial in four six eight. Four six eight. You found 
the blueprints for Mugshot's additions to Mesa City. With these files, I'll be able to help you find all his clues and breakables. Just look through your binoculum to get the information. And with that, let's see if we can try to collect this key in style by doing our dive technique. Or may not. So, next time on Sly Cooper and the Thievius Raccoonus, we'll be going over to another level.